teach us how, how to worship. What, what's an enemy? Why don't we worship? Why don't we worship? An enemy of true worship is, is pride. Yeah, it's pride because, because I, I think too much of myself. An enemy, an enemy of true worship, even when we come and we congregate corporately or even when you're home, here, pride, pride will tell you, pride will tell you, you know, man, you ain't got to be doing all that. You got to be doing all that. You might stand up. They don't know whether I'm standing up or not. You know what? Our worship is the audience of one. It doesn't matter if you're here or at your home or at your office or in your car. The worship is for God anyway. So, God, yeah, Pastor Kobe, don't know if you're standing up. Pastor Kobe, what, what sense does it make for you to get on the line, say AIW, then get off and go back to sleep? Well, who is that helping? Because God knows what's going on. Come on, you could be getting past us. Oh, but no, you, it's God. God. God is the one. So, pride would tell me, don't take all that. An enemy to true worship is a feeling. We're addicted to a feeling. We're addicted to a certain song. We're addicted to a certain pace we're addicted to what and how it makes me feel but if my worship is predicated on how I feel I'll never worship because it's not about how I feel that's why it's called a sacrifice oh my god I gotta get this to you and I'm gone oh the enemy of true worship is spectatorism oh yeah we just spectator worship is not a spectator sport you don't you just come and flop down and just enjoy worship no worship is engaging you ought to get engaged in the worship you ought to get involved in the worship you ought to say Lord you're on your way on your way to the house of God, on your way to worship. When you get, when you know you're gonna be at home and you're at bedside Baptist and house holding it, you get up out the bed, you brush your teeth, you put your clothes on because you know you're finna worship God. And you look around your house and say, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Worship, worship is not about spectator. You don't just put us on the TV and pop some popcorn and sit back and enjoy the show. Oh no, the devil is a liar. You gotta be actively involved. Oh, the last thing, the enemy, the true worship is our ability just to give God some lip service. We know how to say all the right things. We know how to say all the right words. We know yada. We know toda. We know shabbat. We know all the little Hebrew words for praise. Oh, but it's not about me saying the word. Oh, but it's about the word getting down in my spirit. It's about the worship getting down in me. The way God can break, God can break me. Look what the prophet Amos said. I know I'm trying to bring it in, y'all. I got to drop this word on you, though. Amos 5.21 says, I hate, I despise your feast. God is saying, God said, I hate your feast. God said, I, I take no delight in your solemn assembly. What would you do if God interrupted our regular schedule program today and said, you know what, truth and love, I hate what y'all doing. You know what, you coming in, you singing your little song, you got your little Bible, you got your little light song, you got your little fall machine, you got your little lapel, you got your little in-ear, you got all that. I hate, God said, I hate it. Over 22, he said, even though you offer me burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. And peace offerings, I will be, I'm in fat, your fat and animal. He said, I will not look upon them. Oh, verse 23, he said, take away from me the noise of your song to the melody of your heart. I will not listen. What is God saying? Don't come to me. Oh, but just saying the right thing. Don't come to me with all the ambiance and the lights, the camera and the action, and your heart is not right. Oh, God say, don't wrench your garment, but wrench your heart. Oh, how do I know that God receives our worship? Oh, because they that worship him, we worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, come on, my friend. God is still looking at your worship right now. God is still examining our paper right now trying to know if my heart is right on behalf of everyone here at truth and love ministries we want to thank you for being a part of our online worship experience thank you for your participation through your likes your shares and your comments but we also want you to participate when it comes down to helping us continue to push this gospel message forward you can do so by downloading our app and you can give there in a safe and secure way you can go to our website at truthandlove.tv and you can give or you can text the word T-I-L Jax to the number 77977. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. See you next time.